I wish your conference with excellent science, exciting discussions, and a much pleasant time with old and new friends. I officially open the 11th International Conference on Permafrost. Enjoy the time here in Potsdam. It's a great pleasure for me to present the, you the recipient of the IPA's Lifetime Achievement Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Emeritus Hugh French. that the Russians called this um, permafrost Vietnam Mirzlata. Vietnam means eternal. And as we know, because of climate change, frozen earth is, is thawing, permafrost is disappearing. But I think this word Vietnam is kind of a clue that we want it to go longer. We don't want it to disappear. And maybe that can encourage us to kind of take measures to preserve it. How much carbon will come out of the soil after it thaws, and then also how much carbon might be taken in by increased vegetation. There recently are some new models that are, are projecting both soil carbon loss and vegetation increase. What was really surprising to us was when we looked at these uh, numbers that are the change in biomass. All current models predict that biomass will increase. They, all of the models say in the boreal forest and in the tundra there will be substantially more growth. That story is very interesting. That story says that we can still reduce most of the carbon emissions coming from the permafrost region. So this poster is about uh, rapid pulsar decay in northern Finland. Uh, my work is mainly on mapping uh, soil organic carbon. Well, we're looking at a soil chemistry perspective to permafrost. And we're trying to figure out uh, the properties of unfrozen water and frozen soil. The people on the left hand side, like your left hand side, should move a little bit closer to the center. 